Yeah, this is my backyard last night, as you can see from the time stamp and date. And uh, there's a coon coming in. There's a trap. It does not have no bait in it, but the door's open. But there's no bait in it. Uh, two nights ago, I had gotten a coon and took him down to about three or four, five miles away. There's a preserve, and uh, I take all the animals I catch in my yard. I take them down there and turn them loose in that preserve about five miles away. And uh, as you can see, there comes another one. There was four of them in my yard last night. I caught two in the trap at the same time. Believe it or not, I caught two in the trap at the same time. I can't figure out why he didn't trip the door right then. So that door is a hair trigger. There he goes. He's going in and the other one's going in right behind him. There he goes. And there goes the door. So I got two coons at one time last night. There comes the fourth one. Oh my God, there's four, there's a four of them was out there last night. And the one, he's got to be a male because he's twice, he's almost as big as the dang trap. There he is. There's that big one. He's over there eating my berries and eating my okra and trying to find the tomatoes, but I ain't got no tomatoes. But yeah, there's two coons in the trap now. But yeah, they got in there at 2.45. At 4.30 this morning, they were still trying to get them two coons out of that trap. And then they finally left. The other two finally left and didn't come back. So this morning, I took these two up to that five miles away from the house and turned them loose in that uh, preserve. So they can... Stay out of my garden. This is the uh, fifth coon I've gotten out of my yard. I've gotten 10 or 12 possums. And uh, all kinds of animals. They go in that trap. Most time I just throw the scrap food that's left over from the table or something other and uh, yeah they trying to get out of that thing boy I had to fix a couple of spots where they ripped the metal up look at the size of that boy he's almost as big as the dang trap itself look at him at the size of that coon good lord he make a heck of a coon skin cap <laughs> but i don't kill them i just catch them and release them somewhere else other than my yard so they don't eat my garden up